Right, am I recording? Yeah. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Guess what? I'm back. Yay. Guess what? I have to fiddle around with it again, but I've got it perfect now. Remember the um, that reel over there was getting a little bit slack on the rewind. Not now. Let me show you. Let me go forward some more and show you full speed. I'll add this on to the end of the uh, the other video. I think even the left hand uh, spool needs a bit of adjusting to make it even firmer or, or leave it now. So that's fine that way. Now look at the rewind now. No slack at all whatsoever. Let's let it achieve full speed. It's only a test tape anyway this one so if it gets damaged then it's no big deal you know. Look at that. Perfect. No slack on the end, nothing. That's how it should be. Let's go again. I'm a perfectionist, you see. Um, I just can't let things lie. I've got to get it perfect. Or I'm not happy. Look at that. That's how it should be. That's how it should work. No slack at all. So, in other words, I could risk my Beatles tape on it. No, I better not. <laughs> no, actually, I've put, you probably noticed I've changed the spool, but it doesn't make any difference. I tried it with the smaller one. They both matched this time. And it didn't make any difference at all. There's still a little bit of uh, slack on the end. But um, not now. I've adjusted it. Oh, look at the speed on this damn thing. See, the good thing about these old machines, they're made for, like, semi-professional use. And... Um, you had one motor for the drive, that one there, and you had another motor for rewind, fast forward, whatever. So three independent motors, and this is what you'd always get. You only get really all you have to ever change is a couple of belts for the for the counter, but there's no belts for the rewind or fast forward. The uh, sort of domestic machines always have they always have these belts inside that perish, and you've got to change them. Real pain in the ass. There's the same estates, pain in the ass. Look at it now, it's perfect. Famous last words, eh? Nah. What happened there? <laughs> Famous last words. It could be a little bit too brutish. I don't know. Maybe needs a fine, fine little adjustment. Nah, it's all right. I could loosen that screw just a smidgen. I don't know. God, I don't know what to do now. Bloody hell. That's nah, fine. That's how it should be, you know. See, when I go fast forward, there's a little bit of um, leeway. So a little bit of... Um, see? It carries on a little bit more. But as I said on the re one before, it was leaving uh, little, a little bit of tape on the end, a little bit of slip, slippage, which I didn't like. Nah, that's fine. If you look on the last video, you can see there was a little bit, well, I'm going to add it onto this one, to the other one. Uh, the tape was leaving a little loop behind on rewind. But now, well, I don't know what to do now. Damn, I'm such a perfectionist. Why would it be so perfect? all the time. Such a perfectionist. Now look at that. Perfect. No loops. Nothing. And it's not too tight. It doesn't snatch the tape or um, stretch it or anything. It doesn't snap it. Nah. You know what? That's perfect. I'm leaving it as it is now. Maybe the fast forward um, supposed to be like that I don't know maybe it's, I'm sure it's supposed to be like that see yeah, if I start fiddling around with it I know what's gonna happen if I fiddle with it now yeah that will go wrong and look at that yeah that's perfect so I'm going to get my nail varnish out now. No, not funny or anything like that. Bit of nail varnish. Very good for uh, securing screws in position. 
once you've uh, done the final adjustment just put a tiny little bit on there there's a locking nut there and it should be tightened but you know what it's really stiff and i can't even undo it but um, i'm just going to put a bit of this uh, nail varnish on the end of the thread very good stuff to have nail varnish believe it or not when you're working on stuff like this especially when you've got adjustment screws just put a tiny little bit on the threads i mean if you need to um, adjust it again you just turn it with a good screwdriver and it'll snap off so it's no big deal see there's a bit more slippage on that one a bit more give but now on the rewind you say no i'm stopping right there <laughs> there we go i've got another machine to do it's such a pain in the ass oh my god when it uh, rewinds or fast forward, it makes a clattering noise, like go, 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 go. So I think all the brakes need renewing on that one. This one, the brakes seem to be all right. How they work, they've got these bands, these semicircles of metal, and they're lined with cork. And I checked the condition of the cork, and it looks fine. It's absolutely fine. I mean, I've got some spare cork, little strips of it. I was going to take all the bands off and renew it, but you know what? What's the same? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. One more time. You know what, I'm dying to go uh, for a wee as well. <laughs> dying for a cup of tea as well. Uh, rewind, there we go. Look at the speed of this damn thing. That's fine. One more time. I'm quite happy with it. I'm trying to convince myself I've got OCD. Oh my god. And one more time, Harvey. One more time. No more of this. No, that's fine. That's it. That's good enough for me. No slippage. All right, one more time. Oh no. It's like people they switch light bulb, uh, light switches off and on, off and on, off and on before they go out to make sure it's off, and they keep switching it on, off, on, off. I've got, I've got that problem with this bloody thing there. Oh god. Alright, here we go. Full speed and then stop and then stop the video. Perfect. That's it, I'm leaving it. Time to get the uh <laughs> nail varnish out. Super. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shut up, Harvey. Don't touch that cable. It's live. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm going to add this on to the end of the video. And uh, I'm going to do another video about this and put it on my Harvey's Vintage Audio channel. Because, believe it or not, did you know you can actually get a, a strike, a video strike, a channel strike, if you upload the same video on a different channel, even though it belongs to you? So I'm going to make a separate video uh, it'll have separate uh, algorithm, whatever. So I'm going to make a separate video on this and put it on my Harvey's Vintage Audio channel. So there we go. Two for the price of one, eh? Great. Good value for money. <laughs> what money? Anyway. All right, then. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.